Welcome back to Pack of Loss. In this episode, we're going to be covering regions and how to incorporate those into region blocks. I'll be building off my previous videos in this series. So with that, let's get started. Found under the Objects tab, under Regions, region objects are used to define traffic ingressing or egressing from countries within security, decryption, and DOS protection policies. The most common use cases for region objects is to restrict specific regions inbound for specific types of access, like VPNs, or blocking traffic to and from countries that your organization may consider threat actors. You'll notice by default, there are no region objects listed. However, there is a predefined list that Palo Alto uses that is present in all traffic logs. If you so choose, you can choose to create a custom region object by clicking add, specifying the region, or creating your own region, setting the geolocation. You can, this is completely optional, uh, by the way, and then your latitude and longitude within that. What this is actually gonna do is help out with the app scope under the monitor tab for traffic and threat logs. And then down here, you'll be adding addresses just like an address group. However, today, we're not creating custom region objects. What we're going to be doing is using the predefined list from Palo and building out policies. We're going to be going to the monitor tab, and you'll notice I have a predefined filter by using the destination country filter and building out a filter. What this is going to be doing is filtering out US bound destinations as well as private IP bound destinations as well. We don't want to see this traffic. What I want to see is anything that is outside of my current country that is being reached out to. So in this case, I have the European Union, Japan, the UK, Germany, and so on. I have pages of these logs. To build upon this, because I now see these destination countries, as you see right here, if I click on one of these, European Union, for instance, it's going to actually show me what that country code is. I'm also going to link the full list of Palo Alto's country codes for you to reference. But what I'm going to be doing is using this information and building out a policy based on what I don't want my traffic to uh, be destined for and then validating that it actually works. Under the policies tab, we're going to be creating a brand new policy to put at the top of our rule base to make sure it gets hit first before any of our other policies take action. So we're going to click on add. We're going to call this deny dash region dash 001 description block egress traffic to threat actor regions. Our source tab. This is going to be left as any, so any source zone, any source address, destined for our external interface, so untrust L3, our destination address this time around. This is where we're going to use that predefined list I was talking about. So in this case, I'm going to use RU for the Russian Federation. I am not imposing my views on anyone else. What this is used as is an example for any type of method or policy in which your organization is trying to block traffic to a known threat actor country for cyber attacks. So on the application tab, we're going to leave this as any destination or sorry, service URL category. We're going to change this to any as well. So application and service is going to be any. Our actions, this is going to be set to deny. We're going to log it at session end. We're not putting a log forwarding profile or any of these other settings. And because this is a, is a deny policy, we do not need to specify a profile or security profile down here. So we're going to go back to our general tab just to specify and make and clarify, right? So deny regions zero zero one, block egress traffic to threat actor regions. Click OK. So we're going to look it up. Deny dash region. We're going to move this to our top of our rule base, right? So move before first policy and we're going to commit those changes now that our policy has been created what i want to do is actually validate that i can't actually access any ip space that's within this region to do this let's just google russian domains if i go down here nick.ru because it's a .ru domain, I should not be able to access this web page. If I go back to my Palo Alto, if I hit the refresh button, I should start seeing hit counts be generated against this policy. In this case, I am. So that's a good indication that I'm not able to hit nick.ru. One last thing I wanted to mention is in your destination tab for the training example we have today for this policy, if we go to the address list for the predefined ones, there is one I want to touch upon, which is A1, anonymous proxy for those unaware. Essentially, this is to cover any kind of proxies that can be flowing through your environment without your awareness. 
And if you so choose to put this in a deny uh, policy, it'll deny any kind of anonymous pro uh, proxy it detects. So this is just an additional layer of security you can use to strengthen your security posture. I highly recommend using this if you are not doing so already. In conclusion, I hope this video helped you learn how to manage region objects within your network and apply them to policies as you see fit. As always, I've also included some helpful KBS articles below. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below.